The Roger McKenzie who entered the Mohawk hut at the start of last week's Outlander wasn't the Roger McKenzie who charged back into camp to stop Father Alexander's suffering at the end of the episode, and series star Richard Rankin says we'll see more evidence of Roger's evolution in Sunday's season finale. It's important that I mark the transition quite clearly. Now what we have is a very changed man, he tells TV Line. The audience should be seeing Roger now as a very different person. Viewers will remember that Roger gave an impassioned speech to Alexander, a fellow captive of the tribe, about how his painful pursuit of Brianna through space and time, literally, taught him self-preservation. Look out for number one, he told the condemned priest. From now on, that's me. But after escaping from the Mohawk, Rog later threw away his own freedom to run back and toss a barrel of alcohol on the flames, an act of mercy that hasted the tortured holy man's death. The irony in that is that he's saying all these things and look out for number one. But then he almost immediately goes and contradicts himself, Rankin observes. Because he's not looking out for number one. He basically goes into quite a suicide mission. Because the thing with Roger is, he's so compassionate. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He can't bear the thought of someone else being in any pain nor discomfort. Unfortunately, that instinct may land the historian in even greater peril in Sunday's season 4 finale, Stars, 8-7C. When Jamie and Claire's attempts to rescue him don't go as planned, there's a very real chance that Bree's biggest fear, that Roger won't return, could come true. And even if he does, Will Brianna even recognize her babies, possible, father? Rankin says Roger's travails have marked him for good. If you look back, in, season 2, and stuff in season 3, and even the beginning of season 4, we should see a very different character, he adds. 